Hi, welcome to the next video in the series of how to um, get a Raspberry Pi to control uh, a KNX system. Um, in this video we're going to do something really cool. Um, we're going to connect our node uh, stack that we've built on our Raspberry Pi. We're going to connect that uh, to the if this then that uh, channels um, on, on the internet and we're going to push all of the KNX events which are occurring on the KNX books into a Google spreadsheet so that we could work with them elsewhere and offline. And I think this is really cool because it opens up a whole range of different possibilities um, with uh, you know a whole set of services um, that can be connected in if, if this then that. So um, the objectives in this video is that I'm going to show you how to set up an if this then that uh, recipe using the maker channel um, and connecting that into Google Spreadsheets. It's it's really, really simple and, and um, no coding experience is required really for that. Um, it's literally a case of uh, following the very basic instructions which if this then that guide you through. Um, so I'm not actually going to go into that in too much detail. I'll just show you the bits that you have to connect and, and the name of things and you should be able to figure out the rest. And then what we're going to do is uh, I've got a, written a little script which uses our node event emitter which we created uh, previously uh, and what that does is it we're going to get that set up listening for events occurring on the bus and then when those events are recognized it's going to package up some of that data push it out to the maker channel of if this and that using a request using the requests package which makes um, HTTP uh, requests super simple and um, so there's a couple of things that you need to do. Um, you'll need to download um, the if this then that uh, underscore logger JS file um, from my GitHub and place that into a new folder um, which is inside of the uh, node underscore modules folder. And you need to make a new folder in there called utilities. And that's where we're going to put a whole set of our um, new uh, little um, uh, JavaScript uh, sort of functions which do these little uh, extra bits of uh, you know extra functionality. Um, so you'll need to do that and then you'll also need to um, from the terminal on the Raspberry Pi um, from the KNX folder is to run uh, the npm install requests and what that does is it uh, installs the requests package into our node mo modules and uh, and we'll make use of the the node uh, sorry, the requests uh, package in our little javascript um, uh, file so yeah so you can grab that file from um, my github and get installing that have a little look at if this then that and uh, I'll go I'll introduce that in uh, in a moment so once you've completed uh, all of the different um, exercises uh, to get this up and running, this is the kind of folder structure you should have. So just to reiterate, you need to make a new folder within node modules called utilities, and then place into that the if this then that underscore logger JS file, which is downloaded from um, my GitHub and use Text Wrangler to uh, save into there. And then you've also, from the KNX folder, you've run an npm install which will have created a new folder in node modules uh, with the requests package in there and and that's it um, so once you've done that um, you, you've, you're going to be good to go and I'll um, talk you through some of the uh, additional steps um, shortly. I'll show you now how to set up an if this then that um, recipe uh, just do a quick search for if this then that on uh, Google and click through now you'll have to make a uh, sign up for a, a um, uh, uh, you know for, for an account um, and what you're going to do is we're going to create a new a recipe so we're going to create if this and that and so we'll search for a channel well, now we need to make a channel there and we're going to receive a web request so that's what we want so we're going to call this knx underscore event click trigger and then that is we're going to choose Google Drive and uh, add a row to a spreadsheet and this is it so we've got a spreadsheet name 
formatted name, formatted rows, and that's it. I, I'm not going to create this, but this is uh, as I've already uh, created one um, before. Uh, now you'll get a, a, a specific key, and that key will be linked to your um, uh, recipe. So um, what you'll need to do is take a copy of that key and um, uh, and, and add that into your code. So this is the code here and you can see um, so this is the code that will run um, when we uh, import the if this and that logger.js uh, file into the Raspberry Pi. Um, so it's um, pulling in uh, the uh, KNX event emitter here and we've, it's opening up the, the, re the request package and what this is doing is on a KNX event, which is the bus event, it's taking the data that comes with that event and then it's doing something with that. So in this case, it's making a request um, to the URL and you can see this is the URL here and this is the name of the event that we've just set up and then this is your own key. So it says with slash key and then you have to put your key in there. Um, and obviously if you change the event name, then you'll have to have a different event name. And then the methods, methods post and we create a form um, with a little bit of, uh, um, uh, well, with some strings in that. Um, I've, I've added some S's and some D's there so that the Google spreadsheet doesn't format them as some of them as dates. And then we have a callback function um, which will just uh, log any errors or if we uncomment this bottom um, uh, element, it'll, um, it'll uh, uh, log the, um, the response code from the... Um, uh, from the server, which should be a successful, um, successful, successful fire. So um, once you've got that set up, so you should have set up the if this then that recipe uh, with the appropriate name, um, adjusted this uh, JavaScript uh, code with your key and your event name, and um, save that to the appropriate places as I described before. And then what we should be able to do is we'll SSH into our um, Raspberry Pi and we'll cd into KNX and we will run um, the node app.js so it's connecting to the, the KNX bus select successfully connected and it's there we've already got a write on the bus and then this is uh, we've got a, um, a note that says we've um, got the uh, event and that's been picked up. So if we have a look at the Google Drive and we'll open this up and there's our spreadsheet. Whoa, okay. Um, let me just delete some of these. This is from previous. There you go. You can see this is the new data from the event. So if I have the terminal open at the same time, can see we've got a uh, you'll see the event come in so let's have a look for the next one eventually there'll be a some activity on the bus there we go so we've had there's our event fired and there you can see it's gone to if this and that and then shortly afterwards you can see the data appear so 29 point 22.9, they've got add another one, another couple, they should appear. So this is pretty much real-time monitoring of KNX events over the internet. I think that's pretty cool, um, and it's dead easy to set up. Um, the other benefit is, is that once you've got um, KNX events being initiated, uh, sorry, uh, if this then that event's been initiated, you can do a whole series of other really cool stuff. So you could, for example, um, if we have a look back at this code, we could uh, potentially take this data from this bus event, have a little if statement which filters out only specific events, uh, specific sources or destinations, or particular values for, for any source or destination, and then that could fire off um, a, re a, a request uh, to if this then that, and that could, you know, you could link your if this and that up to a whole host of other things. So it could send you an email if something's overheating or, you know, I mean, literally the um, the possibilities 
are completely endless um, and it would only require a small extension to this code to do some really cool stuff. So I hope this inspires you. I hope you go off and write some really neat things. If you do, please tell me about them. I'd be absolutely thrilled to see them. Um, put them in the comments uh, and uh, in the comments section of the YouTube video. And, and I really hope this helps you um, do some cool stuff with your KNX system and if this and that. Okay, well, happy tinkering and happy playing and uh, good luck. And um, yeah, stay in touch.